Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Divine Divinity, where Jeanne, while exploring Rivertown Marketplace, has found the house of Dr. Elra and means to ask him more about the mysterious disease plaguing the poor citizens. Good day, stranger, if a day can be called good during these days of plague and death. I am Dr. Elra. Is your business with me important? I have little time for idle chatter or to deal with minor illnesses lately. With the Grey Death looming over the town, I must give priority to those suffering from this terrible disease. Um, no, I'm fine for healing, really. I've managed to survive all illnesses and the occasional embarrassing affliction born of passion, if you know what I mean. I don't think I need your services. No. Oh. Um, come back and see if you need... I'll come back to see you if I need anything. This is Dr. Elrath. Uh, why have I not got a more impressive uh, option? Well, let's go for the one where I admit to having uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Let's go for that one. Really? Well, the common cold and your encounters with venereal ailments are mere inconveniences of no importance. The Grey Death will kill you slowly and very painfully. If you develop a burning sensation in your throat, come and see me immediately. Can you tell me more about this plague, Doctor? Wink. The poor part of town is gripped by a lethal disease we call the Grey Death. It's highly infectious and therefore I have ordered the infected area to be put in quarantine. I've no wish to see another victim added to the death toll. Can you tell me what symptoms I should look out for, Doctor? The first thing you'll notice is a slight burning in the throat. Then, between three and five hours later, things will become worse as feverishness and diarrhea take hold. This drastically dehydrates the victim, leaving them weak and open to further infections and delirium. Eventually, abscesses appear on the body as the internal organs fail, one by one, until you die. This is terrible. Is there no cure for the disease? How bad is the situation? How many patients are you treating at the moment? Um, go for the first one. Sadly, I don't have the resources or effective medicines to cure the plague. All I can do is slow the process and make the victims as comfortable as possible. How bad is the situation? How many patients are you treating at the moment? I have three people currently in my care showing the symptoms. Sadly, the Grey Death has already claimed one soul. Passed away yesterday after falling into a deep coma. This plague must be very infectious. How have you managed to protect yourself? I've studied the healing arts since I was 16 years old. My father was a doctor and his father before him. Over the years I've perfected powerful spells of protection against diseases that ward me against infection. I'll come back and see you if I need anything. Oh, so... You'll have to excuse me now, I am needed urgently elsewhere. Please leave my house. Oh. Alright, good day to you. Interesting. Well, that triggered something. Bye, Dr. Elrath. Okay, so what was all... what was all that? So can I sneak back into your house while you're not there? Is that a thing I can do? I wonder, where have you gone and what's going on? Oh, well, that was confusing. I expected there to be something more proactive I could do. How about this? Let's try this house again. See if Dr. Rath's in here. It looked like there was, or was it showing me somebody who was out, outside? Is anybody in here? No. Okay. I do love that salt and pepper shaker. Um. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll keep exploring the marketplace while we're here look out for any other um, named characters or any other hints to ooh, shop sign Rivertown Armory Shop Armory Shop ooh, we can get stuff in there probably not as uh, as stimulating as visiting Jeff but oh no this is uh, Jiro 
Um, a, a, diff a ca different character altogether. Welcome to my store. I stock the best armor in the land, you know. Can you show me your wares? Yes, these are my wares. Thanks, Jiro. Um, I love your cycle race uh, in Italy. It's very good. Uh, fire dog scale armor. Nice. Imp's chain mail. I think I could wear it, actually. So that's exciting. Um, I couldn't really afford it unless I'd sold some uh, exciting objects. I think like the spidery thing. And the, yeah, most of my fortune is in the, the charm and the spider. I just had a cat. Do you have a, a cat, Jiro? Come back any time. I didn't answer my question. Is there a cat here? Oh, Matthew. Hello, miss. What can I do for you? Good morning, friend. Have you heard any interesting news of late? The plague outbreak in Rivertown has been a real eye-opener for a lot of us. Conditions in the poor section of town are simply intolerable. But young Duke Janus doesn't seem interested in helping the poor and dispossessed. I give what I can to the beggars, but I'm not rich either. Surely some of the Duke's taxes could go to helping the poor. Thank you for your time, good citizen. What's through here? Interesting. And a back door. Why well, let's go out the back. Oh, it's locked. That's weird. Why is your back door locked? I guess so people don't sneak in and steal stuff. No, it makes sense, really. And you can watch the shop. Alright, but well, that was that shop. So far, I'm a bit too poor and a bit too underpowered to uh, make use of much of other things that are for sale in this place. Let's have a quick scout around up here. Oh well. Oh! Oh, it's Tim Galf again. Um, possible black mark, suspected black marketeer. Um, Alright. So I think I've been in that place, haven't I? Check my map. Um, oh, I'm not sure. I haven't marked as anything. Well, you know what, let's put a, an armourer in there. That's how you spell, that's how you spell armour, I think. Um, and then, come around here. Yeah, I'll just check out this building to double check what it is. I suspect I've been here. Oh, is it Jeff's? It's Jeff's. It's Jeff's. Ah, so most of the time Jeff's working out there, but if Jeff's you want to... hardware. It is. It certainly is. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's all I need to know. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion I might have... Uh, Oh, hello, human teleporter, did you say? Ars Magicana. Interesting, oh, so, the magical arts. Oh, okay, and the symbols tell me what school, so this is a wizard teleporter. There may have been a wizardy thing around here um, in previous history. Nice, okay. Well, I mean, I've been since finding that first one. I've been very lucky to. Um... What's going on around here? Okay, so this is the road heading off. Um, I'm not sure what this construction works all about. Um, a new latrine, maybe. Okay, let's head down here. 
this building. Oh, I don't know if I've explored this building. Let's try this out. Okay, just a tree there. So, it okay, says so this is whatever was north of the apothecary. Where's well, a door and a sign? Fantastic. Blake's general store. Okay, let's go talk to Blake. If Blake is indeed the proprietor of Blake's general store, not always the case. Oh, are you the? Oh, are you wearing the same clothes as the poet? Okay. Talk to me, Blake. No, you don't, you're not. Welcome to my humble shop of clarity. Charity, <laughs> adventurer. My name is Blake, and I sell rare articles at reasonable prices. Also, I will donate a third of anything you spend to the poor needy. So shop with good conscience at my expense. Uh, very commendable, but why are you donating money to the poor? Um... Listen, friend. I know what it's like growing up in the gutter. I had to fight for food and a place out of the rain from the age of three years old. I saw my entire family dead of disease and starvation before I was ten. I was lucky. Kind blacksmith made me his apprentice when I was twelve. I made enough money to buy this place and now I make a reasonable turnover of gold. But I still see kids starving in the streets every day. So I try to make a difference, even if it leaves me short of money much of the time. I'm looking for rare items. Do you see anything really... Why am I looking for rare items? Well, maybe I have something you'll be interested in. Did you ever hear the story about Nericon's garden? Far to the west, close to the Cursed Abbey, lies a huge garden which was built by the mighty wizard Nericon. Go on. Back during the Age of Deception, there was an evil despot who ruled Rivertown, the aforementioned Nericon. On one black morning, Nericon decided the Rivertown was to be the site of the most magnificent garden in Rivalon. Aye, and then what happened? Well, the trouble with building a garden in a town is that towns tend to have folks living where you want to build. So to create a least fuss for his rich supporters, Nericon had the palace guard drive all the people out of the poor section of town and set light to the houses and shacks there. You can always tell an evil ruler because he picks on the poor folk. So has Nericon burned down the people's houses to build a useless garden? Oh yes, thousands of slaves, mostly the dispossessed poor folk, laboured day and night to create the most beautiful garden Rivalon had ever seen. After the completion of this garden, Nericon stored all his most precious treasures in a vault, hidden beneath its rolling trees, flowers and lawns. Clever, you see. He made the most pretty treasure vault in the world. Very poignant, but what's Nericon's garden got to do with your rare items? Believe it or not, I've got a copy of the key to Nericon's garden. One of my ancestors was a slave in the small shrub squad, Small shrub squad, I managed to steal the spare key. It's been handed down from generation to generation in my family, but none dared risk using it. I'm no adventurer. Besides, there are dozens of kids out on the streets who'd starve if I let myself get killed. But lately I've been thinking about thinking that somebody else should use the key to good effect. Interesting. Where can I find Nerican's garden? Let me show you on your map. There it is, west of the market area. Uh, so, what do you want for it? Well, I swore that I would only sell the key to a person who enjoys a good reputation. I don't want a wicked person to get access to the treasure of Nerikon's garden, you see. There's enough rich bastards in the world without adding to their number. I'm afraid from what I've heard of you, I can't trust you. Just yet. Come back with a few more good deeds to your name, and we'll see, alright? Interesting. Okay, because I do have a reputation tracker. Uh, what do you have for trade? Blake. Um, what sort of weaponry? Uh that I can't use. Boots that I'm too weak to put on my feet. Um, and so on and so forth. Okay. Cool. Uh, Warcraft light leather belt. I mean, that might be good. Uh, but, I don't know. I don't know how these things compare to what I've got already. I don't know if there's an easy way to tell. Um, tailored heavy leather boots. Um, I 
Wow, you need yeah, you need thirty strength for chainmail gloves. That's fair enough, I suppose. Uh, yeah, you can spend a long time looking at the stats for all these, for sure. Resistance to poison. If somebody, presumably, if somebody tries to poison my feet, lots of lots of interesting boots around here. Okay. Uh, some very expensive armor that I can't wear. All right, thanks, Blake. Come back any time. Thanks, Blake. Right, is that is that it? Do we think is that the marker? Have a quick look at the map. I, that looks like a neat arrangement. That's probably the market. So is that the garden? That's Nerokun's garden, and then that's. The Cursed Abbey. So we haven't explored anything um, north of the entrance to the castle. So all this land is unexplored. Uh, the river is over here. Um, so I imagine there's kind of a well. We've got a map. I guess I'll look at the map as well. Um, that is in the scrolls. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. So there's. Barracks. There's a teleport at the barracks. That's what I thought before, wasn't it? But, oh, it might be just north, near where the castle is. So it might be really close to somewhere we've explored already. Um, this is where we have particular uh, things going on. Dwarven. Oh, there's a dwarven forest to the east here. There's a graveyard, and then there's a couple in Vadistis. Cursed Abbey, Farmlands, well that should be the castle shouldn't it, interesting, okay, and then Alaroth, there should be one in Alaroth, there should be some mountains I can get to as well, wow, okay, and then we can actually get, well the Archer's Guild, so you can go really far south, interesting, Well, I think we'll leave that all for next time. Um, we've successfully explored the marketplace, didn't really get what we were looking for, which was some way to help with the, the plague. And um, that's kind of it for now. Yeah, maybe we'll return to the um, our previous quest givers to see if there's anything we can do there. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.